This is my Earth Ride. I bought it new. Probably 1979. There were three, from what I understand, on the uh, doing some research on the internet. There are three generations of these things. The first generation has the hollow logo. I don't know if you can see that. It weighs eight pounds. They made this first generation from 78 until 82. I think it was around 79 or 80 when I bought it. And I don't know why I bought it. I mean, it's it doesn't have a pleasant sound. My primary ride for a long time. I used it a lot and then I put it away for long periods of time and then brought it out again. And every time I brought it out, people were really curious, especially drummers, you know, they had heard about it and they seemed to be making a resurgence in popularity for some unknown reason. But this thing is massive and I used to announce its arrival at a gig I'd show up I'd take it out of my symbol case and literally drop it on the ground on the floor and well the sound is uh, indescribable as you could hear it's super dry um, and it's just a completely different animal it's it has some wash but it's it gets lost. It, it doesn't have much wash at all. A whole lot of ping, a lot of stick articulation. Um, and, you know, it, it has its place. I've used it in all kinds of music. This symbol actually saved my entire symbol collection back in the day. I used to carry all of my symbols with me all the time. I didn't have very many of them in a soft bag. And I was playing in a big band in Southern California, and it was late one night after practice pitch dark parking lot and I was loading my Toyota putting the drums in it and I forgot the cymbal bag and the cymbal bag was standing up next to the back tire it was completely invisible in the darkness hopped in my car with that nagging feeling I was forgetting something and I started backing out of my parking spot and I felt something I heard a little sound and then I felt something. I ran the cymbal bag right over the center of this thing. All of my cymbals, fortunately, were underneath this thing in a soft bag. I ran it over with the front wheel of my Toyota, front wheel drive, and I was absolutely devastated, heartbroken. I was sure that this, my entire collection was destroyed and I was going to have to buy all new symbols. It's about a half hour drive home and by the time I got home I had reconciled myself with the very real possibility I was going to have to buy all new symbols. And when I got home, <clears throat> unloaded the drums, grabbed my cymbal bag, brought them in the house and I thought I was going to throw up. But I expected the worst. I unzipped the bag, opened it up and they were completely unharmed. And it was at that moment I knew that I would never get rid of my Earth ride. I'm quite convinced that when the sun goes supernova and the Earth ceases to exist, this thing is going to end up floating in space somewhere. Mm -hmm.